Hello, thank you for choosing your event with Event Nook. In this video, we will introduce you to our Zebra printer and show you how to use them for printing the batches. The Zebra Desktop Printer is powerful for printing batches in on-site event. The Zebra printers can produce high-quality prints for both sticker labels and on all cards for on-site batch printing. You will have to do three things which is Setting up the Zebra printer itself Setting up the printer to the MacBook and Setting up the Printopia You will need an iOS device MacBook, a Zebra printer and a router and a LAN cable. In this tutorial, you will be guided to the necessary steps to get your Zebra printer up and running ready for on-site badge printing. Here is the Zebra ZD500 printer. Make sure the cable is connected to an electrical power point. At the back of it, to the right side of the printer is where we can see the power cable and power button while the left side is where we can connect the LAN cable and the other end goes to the router. You might have to wait a while when turning on the printer. We have to wait for the IP address. When it shows up, make sure you note down the IP address for the setup in MacBook. Let's set the printer settings based on the type of batch or media. Let's click the button on the left. Choose settings, then go right until you see the media type. Usually, we use two types of batches. The left one is a badge with mark sensing and the right one is a badge with a notch or gap. Since our example badge has the notch or gap, we will choose the gap or notch type. Since the printer is paused, click on the pause button on the right to continue. As you can see the printer detects the notch and stops right at the end of the badge. Just a quick note when you're inserting the badge you can adjust the area for the badge by rolling the scroller in the middle. Make sure it fits enough and is not too tight. Then, make sure the notch is located right on top of the sensor. We will now get into our second setting. Setting up the software on your Mac. First, make sure your Mac is connected to the same Wi-Fi router as the Zebra printer has been connected with. Open Printopia app and add a new printer. Go to the second section with the globe logo and enter the IP address that you have noted down. Go down to the Use section and select the Software tab which in our case will always be Zebra or ZPL. Make sure that we are using the right protocol LPD or line printer. During on-site event, communicate with your other colleagues about how you would name printers. We usually go by the counter name, then the printer number, and let the last three digits of the IP address be left behind. So that we would know to which Wi-Fi are we connected. Let's move on to the next step. Connecting to the local host, type, localhost, 631 in your browser address bar. Go to the printers and choose the default settings. Set the media size according to your badge size and resolution based on the printer resolution, which is 300. For media tracking, the gap or notch badge would use the web sensing option. Set default options. And wait. You're not done yet. Go back to Printopia. Click on the printer. Choose settings, then choose to restore defaults to update your settings on the local host. All settings for the printer and MacBook are finished. Let's try to test print. And well done. We hope this tutorial can help you to set up the on-site badge printing with Zebra Label Printer. Feel free to reach us out if you need any further assistance. We hope the best and success for your event.